I get told this is a really big bottle every single time. You don't need to tell me. Anyways, let's talk about it. Elephant in the room. Everyone is talking about how crazy AI is. All the crazy tools that's on the market right now, like ChatGPT, DALI 2. There's all these crazy apps. When and which skills are going to be replaced first as a UX designer? Let's dive in. So over here on my screen, you can see that I've spent some time on the weekend to think about what's the best way to measure which skills will be replaced first. So if you appreciate that, make sure to gently smash that like button. So on the Y axis, which is the vertical line, we have skill sets that are going to be measured based on how strategic they are and how technical they are. Then on the X axis, I've decided how much human interaction is actually involved. So stakeholder management, for example. So if it has a high human interaction or low human interaction, okay? Then in, in the bottom right corners and the top corners, you can see that if a skill set sits in the bottom right corner, it's going to be not difficult for AI to replace. Then in the bottom left corner, we have less difficult, top right, more difficult, and in the top left, difficult. Now, to be clear, when I say difficult, I'm not saying that AI can't replace it and it's impossible. I think it's very possible. So let's talk about the first skill here. The first skill that I think is going to be replaced by AI, or at least majority of the work is done by AI and with a human overlooking the entire operation, because I do think that humans will always be working alongside AI and it's technically not just replaced entirely, is design systems. Now design systems, if you think about it, what does that entail? Well, that does re require some level of strategy involved, thinking about how do we manage the design system? Um, how do we structure it? How do different uh, teams utilize it? Um, comms between all the different departments? There is a level of strategy involved, which why I say that there is definitely going to be a human looking over this operation. But in constructing the actual design system, I think having a designer sit there, a senior designer sit there, pushing pixels, moving buttons around, organizing input fields, thinking about different variations and whatnot, I think a lot of this stuff can be automated, right, with a forward thinking perspective. So I think a lot of the work is more technical, right? Not to say it's not strategic, I think there is elements of a strategy, but I do feel like majority of that work, the grunt work is technical. Now in terms of human interaction, I think a lot of that stuff does sit on the lower end of human interaction because you might have a meeting to onboard all the developers onto the project, let them know how the de uh, design system is structured, how we should be utilizing it and how we should collaborate. But I would say most of the time, it's just someone sitting there pushing some uh, pixels around, documenting a little bit of things and just making it a little bit more organized. So that's why I feel like AI can actually go and replace majority of the work and it's not difficult for it to uh, replace it. So this is in the bottom right corner. So let's talk second quadrant, which is less difficult. We have a few key skill sets, UI design, graphic design and web design. Now, why does this sit in the not difficult section? Because I think it is more of a technical skill, UI design, graphic design, and web design, but it's also moving a little bit up towards strategic because there is a level of strategy involved, thinking about how do we design this in the, in the most uh, user-friendly way, also sometimes prioritizing some design decisions over others. There's a little bit of strategy involved. Same as graphic design, same as web design. And another example might be that UI designers and web designers are thinking about that conversion rate. So when we design a landing page, for example, on a website, if visitors are coming onto the website, we need to think about ways to increase that conversion rate, to increase the chances of making that sale. So there is definitely more strategy involved. Now, in terms of human interaction, I think there's more human interaction as a UI designer, web designer, and graphic designer, because you do have to communicate your design decisions with your stakeholders. You need to tell your story. You need to convince them that this is the best uh, path and this is the best direction we should go in. And you need to put your foot down and communicate those ideas. Now, the reason why it's less difficult is not because AI can't go ahead and generate some really crazy UI, some nice web designs. I think it eventually can. 
But there is that human element that people will just want to trust another human being. It's very hard to just trust clicking a button and trusting that all these designs for all these screens and all these flows are going to work like that. There's still a lot of human interaction involved. There's still a lot of stakeholder management involved, which is why I think it's less difficult. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the top two quadrants. So we have quite a few skills and they all sit in the more difficult section. Now, once again, to help you summarize why these ones sit in the top left corner is because I genuinely feel like there is a lot of human interaction involved in these skills. It's not just about doing the work. There are a lot of times where you need to manage stakeholders, their expectations, answering the questions, answering the uncertainties. And I just don't feel like AI can replace that element just yet. Yes, it can maybe generate a lot of ideas and outlines and documentation and text for you to do the work, but I still don't think that people are comfortable just yet and can trust an AI to just answer all their questions in a meeting. I just don't see that happening in the next five years. I think maybe, maybe further down the track, but just right now, I still feel like people want to deal with other humans because there's that level of trust. So product management. So designers, as you start to become a bit more senior, you start to think more like a product manager. You're more outcomes driven. You start to manage the, the product. You manage the process a little bit more. The reason why product management sits in top left corner, once again, it's definitely more strategic and there is so much human interaction involved. As a product manager, you are overlooking the entire team and the entire product as well. I just can't imagine everyone sitting there talking to an AI or typing prompts to an AI to get our questions answered. Product management needs that human, that body involved and just present in the meeting so you can ask questions and deliver all that. However, with that said, I think AI can definitely facilitate product management by suggesting different strategies, different ideas, providing maybe some ideas around opportunities that you can tap into. But in terms of replacing the whole uh, responsibility of a product manager, I don't think that's going to happen just yet. We must save you from yourselves. Don't you understand? Product strategy. So product strategy is probably very similar to product management. I don't think AI can replace the entire product strategy space. I think it could definitely provide some level of ideas, but I don't think it can replace that human element to it. Now, user research, brand strategy, leadership. Once again, I think that AI can obviously generate you a lot of different ideas for the brand. It can definitely provide you some maybe insights into some market research on, on people. But once again, to actually execute user research properly, you need to talk to someone. You need to ask questions. You need to be able to dive a, a little bit deeper. And you just personally need to physically be there to ask these questions. I just don't see people sitting in front of a computer talking to an AI to gather user research, at least just yet. I think there's quite a little bit of time for AI to catch up and for people to feel comfortable in talking to an AI um, to gather uh, insights and to gather information. So I still feel like it's pretty difficult for AI to replace the whole industry and replace every single person. Same with brand strategy. Now, obviously you could utilize AI to generate you a logo or to generate you a color scheme, basic things. But I just feel like people spend a lot of money in brand studios and brand agencies because they want to be taken on this whole narrative, this story, and they need to be convinced and they need to feel compelled that their brand and these ideas and the strategy that this team is forming for them is compelling and strong and it, they stand by it. So I don't think AI just yet can replace that. You can definitely facilitate that process and provide brand agencies ideas and different opportunities and different strategies, but the delivery of it, the stakeholder management side of it, you still need that team. You still need the people there to talk to your clients and to manage that process. And then the last is leadership. So as a designer, I feel like when you start to move into leadership roles, 
that is very hard for AI to actually replace because once again, it's a very is a skill set that's very strategic, right? You have to think of the spot really quickly. You have to really understand your people, your team, the company, the culture, and it requires a lot of human interaction. So until society becomes very okay and very comfortable in working alongside AI and talking to AI, to sending prompts to it, and ultimately working alongside it, I just don't think that will happen anytime soon. I do feel like there is a lot of time for us to actually continue improving ourselves, growing and taking on more skill sets and growing into skill sets that require more human interaction and are more strategic to really build defensibility into our skill sets to make sure that we can't be replaced by AI. Or if so, it's going to be quite difficult for it to replace. So I would love to know, what are your thoughts? Do I have this entirely wrong? Do I have any of these skill sets in the wrong quadrant? Let me know how do we measure these different skill sets in terms of how easily and how quickly AI can replace it. Now, if you did like this video, make sure to gently smash that like button, subscribe for the diehard fans, and I will see you in another video very soon.